What's up everybody? This is every single waterbending ability on Bender's MC as of right now. Uh, do keep in mind that this list of abilities is subject to change as we are adding and removing abilities and tinkering with them all the time. But before I get into this video, let's hear from today's video sponsor, Opera GX. Are you tired of your web browser slowing you down, leaving you stuck in a never-ending cycle of lag and frustration? Say goodbye to sluggish performance and say hello to the new era of speed, efficiency, and personalized browsing. Introducing Opera GX, the browser designed for gamers and power users. Opera GX is the ultimate browsing experience, tailor-made to meet your needs. With a built-in speedometer, you can keep an eye on your PC's performance and optimize it with a single click. Customize your browser with the GX sidebar to easily access your favorite gaming and messaging apps right at your fingertips. Stay in the know with the integrated gaming news feature. Get the latest updates on all your favorite games in one place. Tired of your browser gobbling up your system resources? No problem. Opera GX lets you limit your CPU and RAM usage so you can game while you browse without a hitch. Love streaming? With Opera GX, you can connect to your Twitch account, get notified when your favorite streamers go live, and enjoy an immersive browsing experience. One of my favorite Opera GX features is the mods you can download. I downloaded the Blockify mod, which themed my whole browser around Minecraft. I turned on these ASMR sound effects for clicking, typing, opening and closing different tabs. And as you can tell, they're just all Minecraft noises. And you can even add this epic background music that plays whenever the browser is open. All of this can be accessed using the mods menu on the GX sidebar. Upgrade your browser experience today with Opera GX and join millions of users who've already made the switch. Download now at opera.com slash GX. Okay, so this first ability is called Water Spout. I already have it bounded in my slot and there are two different ways you can use this ability. The first one is the hover mode and this is sort of a a toggleable ability. You use this one while you're standing above a water source and it will allow you to go uh, from 0 to 16 blocks high during the daytime and up to 24 blocks at night. Pretty helpful for building things and reaching things and or just sort of walking across oceans. Uh, now there's a second way to use this ability as well uh, and this one requires you to first select a water source. So if you just punch on a water source like that hold shift and then you release you uh, can fly around a little bit on this stream of water moving on we have water arms now this move is pretty cool there's actually a lot to say about it so you can act as you can activate this one with either a water bottle in your inventory or a water source I'm just gonna show what it looks like with the water source All right bam now I have these two arms that are made of water and actually I can do a couple of things with this so if you look off to the side here I've got six different options I can do with this there's the pull option where I can pull entities and things towards me there is the punch option which deals damage and it's sort of like a push sort of like the opposite of pull and it deals damage then there is the third option which is grappling which if you grab onto a block it'll sort of throw you forward it does go pretty long distance Kind of got to throw it and then look down a little bit. Pretty handy. And then there is the fourth one, which is grab. It's a lot like the pull, but this time if you grab an entity, you can kind of hold on to it. Sort of interesting. And then there is uh, freeze, which lets you sort of shoot these ice bullets from your hand. It deals damage. It's long range. Uh, here, if I get my water arms one more time I'll show you the sixth option which is called spear and this will actually freeze uh, entities in a ball of ice if it hits them but uh, I don't have any right now so just yeah okay you see I hit the ground freezes it's pretty cool that's also how you turn them off moving on to water manipulation so this ability is probably the most basic water bending attack in the game see that I set my water source and I can shoot it forward like a basic attack I'll do that one again pretty cool you can also use this with a water bottle in your inventory it'll sort of take from the nearest water source you have from and your water source will come back to you as well if you use water bottle um it does a pretty good amount of damage nothing to complain about and you can actually sort of control where it goes by just sort of constantly clicking as you can see i'm making it go pretty much all the way around me moving on to whip this one's also a basic attack and how this one works is you hold shift and you punch now you might not have gotten the best view of that because it was kind of in here but yeah as you can see it just sort of does a bolt of water that goes forward you hold shift 
you hold shift and you can click like that. So the longer you hold shift, the longer you control it. It's a pretty cool move. It's a basic ability. And also if you use a freezing ability first, like torrent or uh, water arms over there, whip actually goes through ice. So if you have someone stuck in ice, you can actually use this to reach through the ice and deal damage. Okay, moving on to the next one, we have torrent, you know, speak of the devil. So this move has a few different ways you can use it. The first one, if I hold down like this, it creates this water torrent around me. If I stand up right now, it creates a 360 degree water barrier around me. Really good for crowd control, getting people out of your way. Also very, very annoying. And the next way to use it is you can hold shift and you can actually throw it forward to deal damage. Uh, it's sort of like, sort of like water manipulation, deals a little more damage and it can go through entities. You can also use this to freeze your enemies. So yep, see, there we go. I froze him. Took a little longer than I thought it would, but yeah, there you go. He's encased in this ice prison. Moving on to our next ability, we've got Octopus Form. Okay, so this is a defensive water bending ability and how this sort of works if I go in the third person here. Oops. Hold Crouch and it creates this well, a little octopus-like shape around you, protection. If you're constantly clicking while you're in this ability, um, projectiles like snowballs and arrows and such, and mobs even, they'll bounce off of the sides of this. It's sort of like a 360 degree shield. It doesn't get the top of you, so you're uh, still, still vulnerable to air attacks. Yeah, this is pretty much it. I, it gets a little bigger at night as well. All right, moving on. We've got wake fishing. Okay, so this is a survival ability. This is the water bending fishing one. So find a water source, look in front of it. Sometimes it takes a little bit, yep. And you get this little ring of water particle effects that pop up and I can just sort of infinitely fish from it. Yeah, you see, look at that. Fish on demand. That's always what I say in the YouTube videos. Uh, this is really helpful early game if you're just trying to get food because um, you could be anywhere. You could be at the bottom of a cave and just you know fish out of nowhere you don't have to eat any rotten flesh see look at that i got like five tropical fish four salmon three cod and a puffer fish can't complain moving on next we got hydrotherapy all right so this one's interesting and i'm gonna get my uh, steve friend down here again so this is an ability that you can use to heal yourself or other players for this demonstration i'm going to use it on my friend steve here uh, oh, well, it looks like, oh, yeah, there we go. See, I, I just got a little impatient. It does this little cross, this little X, and then when they're done healing, it does the little rings around the top. It will give you regeneration. If you want to see me do it on myself really quickly, that's what it looks like. Pretty much the same thing. Some of the effects I get, I get speed two and regeneration for 30 seconds. Pretty helpful, especially if you're battling or in a place where you can't heal. All right, so this next ability is called Surge, and this is definitely one of the better basic water bending abilities. So what this move does is it summons a tidal wave. Here, let me try get a better demonstration. There we go. Uh, and if you have a water bottle in your inventory, you can activate it by pressing crouch and you can actually freeze this and move it around like a shield if you wanted to um pretty cool you can also just use it like this it's a really good knockback ability it doesn't deal any damage but that's sort of the point is it just sort of moves things out of the way all right so this next ability is called water bubble and this is a cool one i love water bubble and every time i make videos with water bubble in it people seem to really like it so Water bubble will allow you to have your own personal air pocket when you're walking around in the water. So I'm just gonna keep clicking here because that's how you that's how you kind of keep it from turning off uh, while you're in the pool. Now, if I let the water come back, you can also use uh, crouch to enable it. When you let go, it'll just sort of fill in like that. So if you want to keep it around for a bit and like walk around, you just sort of punch punch every you know four or five seconds to kind of keep it like that it's cool for uh raiding underwater uh artifacts like shipwrecks and uh temples 
Definitely going and mining underwater caves, super useful with this one. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Moving on to the water bending combos, this first one is called Water Gimbal. And this is probably my favorite water bending combo. And so to activate this one, you're gonna need torrent and water manipulation. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to tap sneak twice with torrent, and then you're gonna hold sneak with water manipulation, and then you're going to left click. And now you're gonna wanna do this one standing above a water source I found. Tap sneak, tap sneak. All right, here we go, I got it. Now you get these two swirling bolts of water around you. All right, it looks really freaking cool. Really cool. Definitely one of my, uh, definitely one of the most visually appealing water bending combos. And now with this, you can attack twice. Click. You know, there goes one, and there goes the other. It's kind of like double torrent. All right. So this next combo is called rain bending, and for this one, I'm gonna need to turn the rain on. Okay. And so this one is basically supposed to take the rain or the water from the air and use it to do bending abilities so you're gonna need two abilities for this one we're gonna use phase change and torrent so with phase change you're gonna tap sneak hold sneak and then you're gonna switch and wait so if i go over here tap sneak hold sneak huh. there we go if you can look at the top of my screen you'll see that the move is charging up you can see what percentage of the move i'm at and i'm holding this like this uh water ball here and now if i left click i can start using the ability pretty cool right moving on to our next ability which is maelstrom and this one is like the whirlpool ability so with this combo, how to use this combo, you, you hold shift with phase change, and then you left click twice with torrent. Alright, there we go. As you can see, got this big whirlpool. Open it up. It likes to uh, suck mobs and other entities into the center. If I throw myself in there, you'll see. Can't even fly out of there. As you can see, underwater, it's got this whole spinning cone thing. Looks really cool. All right, next we're moving on to our first sub element, which is ice bending. So first we're gonna start with the phase change ability, which I just used in a bunch of those combos over there. This one's really simple. You click to freeze water into ice. Oh my gosh, it's frozen now. And then you can hold crouch to melt it again. All right, nice, moving on. We got ice spike. This ability is really, really powerful. So you look somewhere on the ice, you click, sends a powerful ice spear into the air. You can also use it from a water bottle, which is interesting. It's kind of like water manipulation, but frozen. Moving on to this next one, which is ice crawl. So if I get a uh, Steve volunteer for this one, this move will basically entrap your enemies. You see, I just hit him with that. And now he's stuck in this ice block, which I can use many more attacks on him now sort of slows them down. Moving on, we've got Ice Claws. Ice Claws, I guess you just ho sort of hold crouch and you get this little particle effect that pops up and you can shoot it. This next one is called Ice Wall and this, this is a cool one. So, Ice Wall, it's kind of like Ice Spike. If you see ice, but instead of clicking, you use crouch, right? you can make ice walls appear. But if you look at them again, you can make them shatter. And what that shattering does is that does splash damage to mobs or entities around. It's, uh, I mean, it's good area of effect damage, so it's good for crowd control. A lot of people on the ice um, or wherever you are, it's gonna do a lot of damage. You can also use it as like a barricade to block yourself from moves. So it's got some defensive and some offensive properties to it. Okay, so this next ability is called Frost Breath. And this is uh, one that will trap your enemies in a ball of ice once you do your frost breath on them. It's a pretty cool ability, really useful. This is definitely one of the best water bending abilities in the game because it just freezes anything you touch just in place and you can use this a bunch. It's got a you know really big area of effect and it will freeze literally any entity it touches. All right, so this next one is called Ice Blast and this 
This is probably one of the most basic ice bending abilities. It's a lot like water manipulation, but it's a little different. It actually it's more like the earth bending ability, earth blast. Um, you just sort of press crouch on an ice or a water source and you can click to throw it and it does a bunch of damage. As you can see, when it hits its target, it does this little glass breaking noise. It does do good damage. Fairly basic attack. Whether you want to keep it in your hotbar is up to you. I think it's pretty good, but you know, I also think there are better abilities. All right, moving on, we've got Frost Cuffs. So, we've got Steve out here. Okay, so what this ability does is it puts Frost Handcuffs on whoever you shoot it at, and this is going to give them slowness and weakness. Um, it's pretty good, it kind of slows them down like Ice Trap or Ice Crawl, whatever that was. Not as effective though, but it definitely looks cool. Like, look, you know, it's got two Frost handcuffs on them. Alright, moving on to Frost Trap. This one creates a giant snowflake when you press Crouch. And it's going to slow everyone down who's within the perimeter, but it's going to give you a speed boost. Moving on to our Ice Combos, this first one is called Mist Shards. So this one is done by holding shift with water manipulation and right clicking with phase change. Hold shift, release shift, hold shift. Okay, there we go, I did it right. So it's gonna form this little cloud above your head, right? Very cool. And now what I can do with this is I can shoot little projectiles out of it, like that. And if you look below, above my hotbar, it says how many icicles I have. So I have five shots left. And then the cloud goes away. So this move, it definitely deals damage. Uh, it's, it's a little complicated to use. Cool factor is definitely 100 here. I love, I love this ability. I love the cloud. Love that it lets you shoot icicles and you can measure your ammo. All right, moving on to Shatter. Now, I was practicing this one a bunch before I started recording this. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was the ability. It just sort of knocked me out of my ice cage there. What it's supposed to do is supposed to put you in like a little ice cage, which you can make explode. So uh, I'll show it to you better from a third person angle, but what it basically does is it encases you in like an ice box and when you release shift, it does area damage by exploding. Moving on, we, we've got icy claws. So this one is performed using phase change. But it, it basically, we have to start using the rain bending combo, which you which you can do any time of the day. It just works better during the rain. Just tap shift, hold shift. All right, so I just did rain bending, but I went back to phase change and use it again, and I've got these frozen ice drops here, and I can throw them. They it's like five little projectiles it throws at once. Here I can show that to you again stops rain bending and it starts doing icy claws all right this next one is ice drill i'm not actually sure if this one works yeah there we go so i just used ice drill and it sort of sends like a giant icicle out of wherever you're standing you're definitely going to be wanting to stand on ice for this one moving on to ice bullet all right so this one is interesting you're definitely going to be able to see this better in third person but let me show you how it works so you use Water Bubble and Ice Blast for this one, so you're going to want to tap sneak, hold sneak, alright, so I'm going to do this one, tap sneak, hold sneak, so as you can see this giant ice ball just formed around me, and now whenever I click, on the outside it's gonna it's gonna send these bullets it's kind of hard to see from the inside i'll do it one more time for you yeah it's hard to see from inside but you'll see in third person that i'm shooting a bunch of different bullets you can definitely see them disappear next we're moving on to ice wave so this one is sort of interesting it takes your normal water spout wave, actually the first one that I showed off. So if I click, then I hold shift, and then I let go, and then I click to phase change. Oh, damn it, what the fuck? Yep, as you can see, I got it right there. Uh, it's like the same thing, 
as water spout, but it freezes behind you. All right, moving on to the plant bending sub elements. This first move is called plant armor, and this is basically where all the magic happens. So if I go into third person and I crouch near some leaves, I get this whole suit of armor on me. So if you look at the top of the screen, you can see that I've got my durability up there, 9,000 points. And every time you use an ability with this on, that durability, or every time you use an ability, yeah, you know, I said it right. Every time you use an ability with this, the durability will go down a little bit. So if I use my first ability, which is Vine Whip, which is really basic attack, you just shoot like a ray of leaves that will deal damage. Really simple. Does about 50 durability every time. So you can use this one a lot without having to collect more leaves. This next one is Razor Leaf, which is a more practical plant attack. If I hold shift, release it, hold it again to make it come back, sort of like a frisbee. You can do this a couple times and then it'll go away. That one uses up about 200 durability. The next one is called Tangle. So if we get my Steve in here, uh, this one's sort of like Ice Crawl, but for leaves. So if I use it on him, it freezes him in a leaf block temporarily. Pretty cool, uses about 400 durability. This next one is called Grapple, and it's like a grappling hook. And you just point at a block, you click, and you can go on top of it. So I just climbed this tower, pretty cool. You can also use it to go all the way over there. Pretty useful. I can go all the way back up there. And that uses about 100 durability each time. So in a single plant armor, you can grapple essentially 90 times. This next one is Leap. Leap just makes you jump super high. Also uses about 100 durability. Do it again, get to the top of this tower. Pretty cool, I like that one. All right, next is Leaf Shield, which creates this big shield of leaves that you kind of hold in front of you. Next one is Leaf Dome. Like this, which will create a 360 degree perimeter around you. Your eighth ability is Regenerate, and this one just allows you to regen some of your durability if you go near leaves. Doesn't work super well. Actually, it's much more effective to use your last ability, which is Disperse. This just turns it off, and you can just go and put it on again. It's actually faster than the regeneration. You just gotta wait for the cooldown. All right, this next ability is Razor Leaf, and this is just a standalone version of the one that's part of Plant Armor over there. Create it. Let go of shift to throw it, let go of shift to throw it, hold shift to make it come back. And you do that like two or three times before it'll sort of go on forever. All right, and my next ability we have here is called Plant Walk. It's a combo for plant benders. There we go, all right. So if you use it properly, you'll get this vine that connects you to the plant source that will straight up allow you to create a fly. As you can see, I'm in survival mode right now, but I can go up pretty far and go out pretty far as well. Uh, this one is very useful if you like to do building. Very useful because you can just kind of set up a plant block anywhere and then use plant walk to build. Pretty cool. All right, so this next one is a combo that you use involving the plant armor ability. So here, let's put that on really quickly. It's called Leaf Storm. Right, what you do is you double left click with razor leaf and then you hold shift with vine whip. Double clip. All right, and as you can see, I've got this big ring of particle effects going around me. It's kind of hard to see because it blends into the grass. But what this does, is it protects me like a shield and it will deal damage to entities that try and come near me. It's a crowd control ability, mostly defensive. Uh, I mean, if you know what you're doing and you like to use the plant armor ability, then this is sort of like an extra ability for that. So it's pretty cool. I don't use it a lot, but it exists. So now moving on to blood bending. This is probably the fan favorite water bending sub element. So this is the blood bending ability. This is the one you hear all about, the one that's used in my videos most often, which allows you to grab players and mobs. You can just sort of hold them around. There's a little lag here, but um, as you can see, I've got this guy. I can throw him up in the air if I want. Um, 
I can sort of just move him around like this. With this one, it allows you to launch it. There's another ability that allows you to pick people up, but you can't launch them with it. So this next one is called Blood Shards, which is like a basic blood attack. You just shoot little blood rays. They deal a little bit of damage. Not super cool, but you know, it's another move. Okay, so this is Bloodlet. And what it essentially lets me do is it's like lifesteal. So if I hold shift on this player right here, it's gonna give me health back when I'm already fully healed, so you're not gonna see that. And it's also gonna temporarily wither them. So it gives you health and it takes away from them. Lifesteal. Uh, next one we got is Blood Puppet. And this one allows you to pick up people as well. I can't launch them, but uh, it's uh, really helpful for moving people around. Actually, something interesting you can do with this, like this, and then you can use him to attack the other player. That is not me punching, that is the other player punching. All right, and this last ability is called Transfusion. You use Bloodlets and Healing Waters, and this one's like super lifesteal. So, all right, okay, so I activated it. As you can see, it sort of forms this blood tether between me and this other guy. Essentially what this move does is it's just like lifesteal, but better, it's kind of like bloodlet, but it lasts longer and heals you more and takes more damage. I don't really use it a bunch. There are better ways to heal. Well, guys, that's it. That was every single waterbending ability that is currently on Bender's MC. Again, this is subject to change because we are adding and removing abilities all the time. But for now, that's it. You guys have a great day, and I'll come out with videos like this for the rest of the elements very, very soon. Catch you later.